I wonder how many of you have lived in uh, countries other than the one you were born in. Now, while I have traveled to other countries, I've only ever lived here in uh, Canada. I wonder about today's guest. Time to find out. Welcome to Small Talk. People come from all walks of life. They all have lives they lead. Any and all are welcome here to come and chat with me. Welcome to the show, everyone. Well, I'm very excited today to invite my guest. I mean, that my guest accepted my invitation. Welcome, uh, Anna Sabalina. Did I pronounce that correctly? Uh, yeah, my last name is Shabalina. So it's S-H uh -huh. like Ash, like Shab. Yeah, Shabalina. Yeah. Well, just another name that I got wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. My apologies. Yeah, that's okay. It's Russian names. They're always complicated. <laughs> But that was not too bad. Some of the names I've seen that is just like, I wouldn't even know how to start, you know? Oh, yeah. My husband's last name is very complicated. So he's Riza Dinov. <laughs> <laughs> so now I just want to, before we talk about um, the main reason why you're here, obviously you said your name is Russian. So you're from Russia, correct? Yeah. Yeah. That's and correct. you got interested in music what, at the age of nine? Yeah. So it's when, uh, uh, it's when I started to learn music, actually. So I was interested in music all the time since, I don't know, since I remember myself. Right. And what, what uh, were your first interests interested in? What, what type of music or what instrument? Uh, so my cousins played piano. And when, when, uh, when I was very young, like, I don't know, two or three years old, mm -hmm. uh, I always visited them in their city and they had piano at home. So they showed me some very simple music and I tried to play it. So uh, when I went to music school, I even didn't know what is cello. So I know I knew only piano. Right. But so, you uh, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. So, yeah, so I, I always had an interest in music, but I knew only piano. That, that's why I wanted to learn piano. But when I went to music school, they told me, so nine years old in Russia is you're quite old, you're quite adult. So you have to so go to the cello because there's always lack of cellists. Oh. But the piano was full. I see. OK, so now when you got introduced to the cello, what did you think? Oh, I like this instrument. Now it's my favorite instrument. So it's so beautiful. But the, the only minus of it is it's too big sometimes. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm just, it, when it was interesting, you know, because I don't know a lot of people who, who play cello. So that was quite interesting. And that's why I wanted to know why you, you started playing the cello. But now that you explained it at the way it happened at the music school, right? Um, yeah. Now, you, you, you uh, went, was that the um, Kazan Conservative? music college that you went to? Uh, yeah, so it's a music college under the Kazan Conservatory. Oh, okay. And so how long were you there? How long did you learn? In uh, that? So actually it's like usual school, like uh, secondary school and together secondary and high school together. Uh, but uh, this one is special. So we had all together like uh, elementary subjects and music subjects and the focus was on music subjects okay. and uh, so I entered there when I was like 11 or 12 mm -hmm. so I spent there like six years so not from the beginning oh I see okay so uh, now while you were there do you go out and do you do concerts like away from there or do you do them there like how does that all work uh, so now I can say I don't have any concerts, but uh, during that time in school, we had a lot of different activities. So we did some uh, music competitions in our home city uh, and like all over, uh, not, not the world, but all over the Russia first. And then later when I was uh, studying in Moscow, uh, in Moscow, so I also went quite a lot to some uh, international music festival uh, in Europe. Right. Now, do your parents or anybody else in your family other than your cousin? Do you, are your family, is your family musical? Uh, so my father likes music a lot. And when I was like uh, a baby, he listened quite a lot to different music. But uh, other than that, no. So I'm on the first professional musician in my family. Oh, okay. Do you, is it mainly classical that you perform? Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm classically trained, I can say. But uh, I, I play like almost everything. 
Okay. So later, yeah. So later, I lived in India for a few years, and nobody can make a difference there. So they have uh, Indian classical and Western music. So in Western music, uh, they don't make any difference between Bach and I don't know Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> now, what took you to India? Uh, I can say my husband took me there. <laughs> so I just graduated from uh, Moscow Academy of Music. And I was quite free. I was going to uh, try to enter to Germany, but I failed. Uh, so I had some problems with my hand at that time. So it was quite a hard period. And I met my husband at that time and he told me, let's go to India together. So we've heard a lot of different things and uh, interesting things about it from our friends, musicians. And the idea was just to live there and play their music with all this uh, crazy international music like musicians collaborations yeah right is your husband a musician yeah so he's a bass player and sound engineer oh very good okay so um now together have you have you performed together yeah so in india we started play together quite a lot first we started in different projects like uh, uh invited musicians and later we decided so we can do just our own projects, not to be dependent on any other people. Mm -hmm. So starting from our second or second year uh, in India, so we prepared some, our own project as a duo. So it's very uh, strange and unique project I can say, because it's uh, only two instruments, bass and cello, both of them are bass instruments. Yes. Yeah. And so it's, yeah, it's, it was quite experimental. I think yeah, it would be interesting. Yeah, I think that would be fascinating to listen to. Uh, you can easily find some videos on YouTube, uh, and there are some links on our Facebook page. Uh, it's called namana.music. Okay, I'll make okay. sure that, that that gets included. Now, you studied, um, let's say you took some classes, master classes under some well known musicians, correct? Yeah, so I did. <laughs> you make it sound like it was no big deal, but I, I think it's a big deal. Because <laughs> not uh, every so, uh, I can say in classical world, and I can say even in all musical world, it's all one big world. So okay. you know everyone. So and it's not a big deal to meet some uh, celebrity or to meet some big names musicians because uh, you all are uh, like you're all in one. Uh, I, I don't know in one chasm. I can say yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you want one, which is the music world. Yeah. Right. So, you know, everyone in maybe one or two hands. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then I think you just connect from one person to the other, right? Yeah. So anyway, I was studying. So I was learning from uh, music teachers. So from uh, music so in Moscow and they know each other, like all of them know, know each other. Okay. All right. So my, my Moscow teacher still is still playing, uh, still working at the Bolshoi Theater in the okay. orchestra. All right, very good. Like I know I've talked to other musicians um, and I know that they're often very generous with each other. You know, if you need help, they're always willing to jump in and help whatever way they can. So I like that. I think that's a very nice world to live in. Yeah, I because agree. You're not competing against each other, which I think is the, the, the thing, right? Yeah. Now, at some point you came to Canada. Why did you come to Canada? Uh, so as I said, uh, we lived in India for some time. So first we spent just winters there. Uh, then we tried to immigrate there because it's a great climate. It is a very big community of international musicians. Okay. But when we moved there for longer than a season, than like a holiday season, which is half a year actually. Mm -hmm. uh, so another half a year, we understood that there is nothing there. So all international musicians are in their, at their places, at their home places, uh, and uh, there is just rain and rain and rain and nothing happening. Right. So we decided, and again, there is also, uh, so it's impossible to immigrate there actually, because, uh, uh, because you can get only visa, so you never can get any permanent uh, residency status or uh, citizenship, never. Okay. Uh, so you have to go out every half a year. So you have to go out every half a year or you need uh, to do some very uh, hard registrations. Right. So that's why we decided it's not a perfect place for living. So it's very good to spend there like winter or few months, but not longer. Uh, and as we spend there quite long time, we already lost everything in Russia. 
so we just decided so we just uh, thought where where we can go to make this base for us and canada is perfect country because it's similar climate to russia uh, and it's similar mentality not at not at all but there are some similarities i can see uh because because of the same climate and uh it's only country that has a lot of different immigration programs. So we found especially uh, one program for us. So we got permanent resident status uh, at once, even before we never uh, ever come here first. Uh, and it was through self-employed artist program. So there is some special immigration program for self-employed artists. Oh, okay. You know, it, it's interesting because, you know, I've lived here and I never had to try to come in, at, you know, as you don't even yeah. know what it's like for somebody coming from another country. So it's quite interesting, actually. So now you're you're still performing. Uh, so uh, we performed in. So first we immigrated to Toronto uh, and we lived there uh, for some time, for one and a half year. But a year of it was locked down. So we moved to Canada just before all the pandemic, just half a year before the pandemic. Right. So we performed just a little bit there. So we did some online shows, but for now, so now we just had a baby, which is three months only. So for now, thank you. Yeah, so for now we are concentrated on this part of our life. But so I think maybe a couple problem. of more months. <laughs> I think we will be in maternity and paternity leave oh, in a couple more months. Okay, all right. Um, do you write music at all? Do you write songs? Yeah, I write songs and I can say that I can. So I can write music because I have like quite strong theor theoretical uh, education too. Mm -hmm. But so I usually write some just more pop songs. Yeah, I, awesome. eat, uh, I do that, but uh, I never recorded one for public yet. Right. Okay. So now once your once the maternity leave is over, and I know it's difficult with, with the COVID happening, but are you able to get out and perform at all? Uh, so actually, we're in a new lockdown now. <laughs> mm, yes. Okay. Of course. A new one. Yes. So even we, we moved uh, to Halifax just to avoid all these lockdowns, yes. but it's impossible to avoid now. They're all here too. Yeah, absolutely. It's more and more it seems to be happening, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. So um, everything is closed. Pardon? <laughs> So everything is closed. Yeah, it's, it's not so closed here in BC at the moment anyway. So, but I don't know if it's going to change or not, right? Um, yeah. Now you did a, I'm just looking at something that I underlined here from the bio you sent it. You, you did a collaboration with a Russian Canadian pianist, right? Milana? Yeah, yeah, yeah we did that. Uh, so actually uh, we lived in one house, we rented a room, uh, a apartment from them. And during the first lockdown, uh, we just met with Nilana and uh, our um, previous uh, lease agreement was finished. So we moved to her, she, she invited us. And we decided, so we spent our first lockdown playing music and knowing each other and it was great. So we created some uh, arrangements for tango music. Right. Uh, yeah, so it was our, I can say common passion. So Milana likes it and I like it too. I always wanted to play it. So we prepared some little program only of tango music and we arranged it for cello and piano. And later in summer, we even played a couple of concerts for just our friends and neighbors, like some backyard concerts. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, at least you got to do that, right? Yeah, and we recorded some, some of these tangos so you can also find it on YouTube. Okay, so that would all be under the... the um... Uh, I can send you some links later if you want. Yes, yes, please do that because I want to put them in when I, you know, when I render this before I air it, I want to have it under your name, the links, you know, if they're, well, I'll take the ones off of Facebook and I'll add that here so people can see them and check it out. Yeah, so there are two groups, two Facebook groups, one for this Namana project with my husband and another for all classical and other projects like my projects. <laughs> okay, sounds really good. Well, I'm um, just, yeah, I find it really interesting. Um, that you go from, you know, you've been living in now three different countries, right? Yeah. Uh, maybe the climate was similar, Russia to Canada, but I'm wondering about the culture. Like, was it difficult moving from Russia to India and then India to Canada, like adjusting to the to the cultures? Uh, so 
it may sound strange, but I can say so Indians and Russians are very similar in culture. Okay. Uh, and there is also some phrase between Indians and uh, Russians. So they say uh, Russians and Indians are brother forever. Uh, oh. All right. Uh, I never heard because, that. Because we are, again, so we are a bit different. Uh, so it's quite similar mentality. So when we first came from India to Russia, back to Russia, it was our first uh, so long traveling. Uh, it, it was like first time it was three or four months. Okay. Uh, and after we first came to Russia, we understood that Russia is not Europe at all. It's Asia. <laughs> so when you when you're living in Russia, you think that you're European people, but it's not. So we we are uh, so our roots are closer to Asian people rather than European. All so right. we have uh, so we have some European cover, I can say. Right. Yeah. Right. But what about when you come to came to Canada? Was it hard? Was it very uh, different? So there is the same thing uh, like. Uh, in Russia, in between Russia and India, there are some deep roots, and India was a quite long time was British colony, the same yes. as Canada. Right. So there are the same similarities between India and Canada. So we can find both sides. We can find some similarities because of climate between Russia and Canada, right. and we can find these similarities between India and Canada because both of them were like uh, British colony. Right. For sure. Um, so. Now, would you would you move again to another country, or do you plan on staying in Canada? Uh, hard to say for now. So now all the world is changing, and it's hard to say where it will be better to live further. Right. So with our small son, we just uh, in process to gather all documents for him. So for now, we cannot go anywhere. Right. That's true. Yeah, we're all like that. <laughs> I'd love to be able to travel, but we'll have to wait. Well, I appreciate yeah. you doing this. Uh, I thank you very much for, for being on the show. And um, thank you for inviting me. Oh, for sure. And you're welcome to come back anytime. I'm just going to talk to the audience here. And I want to just talk to everybody. Um, I hope you enjoyed meeting uh, Anna Shabalina, Shabalina, right? Right. A little, a little, getting to know her a little bit. I'm going to include her, um, her link so that you can check out her music. And um, thank you all for watching and be safe and be kind and all of that stuff. And Peace out, everybody. A sense of community to the wax of place to be. A sense of community when you're free. Rolling through the mountains, rolling through the valley, rolling through paradise with me. It's multicultural. You're sure to see it all Chilliwax a place to be, you'll see Come party in the park Go dancing after dark Chilliwax a place to be, you'll see